welcome back to my channel if you're not a member of my small family yet please don't forget to subscribe so today I decided to create a look that has something to do with this color green I was going through my closet and I found this dress of mine I know it's not very wintry but I just feel like it so I decided to create this makeup look if you guys want to see how I did it please keep on watching <laughs> Like always, we're going to start by priming the face using the Benefit Professional Primer. For foundation, I'm going to use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. I'm in the shade Ivory. This one is a medium to full coverage. To create shadows, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. For now, this is the only one I use to contour my face, but I promise you guys, I'm going to go out there and find new products for contouring. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Cream Concealer. I am in the shade Vanilla. This product dries down really fast, so I suggest you guys use a damp beauty blender to blend this out. To set the face, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. I always set the face after I put on all the cream products, so when it's time to put on the eyeshadows, in case there's any fallout, it'll be easy to brush it out. For the eyes, we're going to use the Morphe Y16 and the Urban Decay Vice 4 Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to get started with the shade Framed. Just apply that all over the crease and all over the lid. From the same eyeshadow palette, we're going to use the shade Bitter using the Morphe Y15 to supply that all over the crease. Using a small flat brush, we're going to go ahead and apply the Tarte Pro Glitter Liner in the shade White Gold. I wanted to intensify the green eyeshadow so I decided to prime the lid first using the White Gold. Next, we're going to use the shade Grasshopper using a more dense flat brush. We're just going to go ahead and apply that all over the lid. Using a pencil brush from Morphe Y20, we're going to pick up the shade Delete, apply that to the inner corner and outer corner of the eye to add more depth to it. This look will not be complete without the wing liner. For that, I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Intense Black. Using a smaller pencil brush, we're going to go ahead and use the same colors that we use on the crease. Apply that on the lower lash line. We're going to skip through the eyebrows because you guys already know how I do that. We're going to move on to the face. Using Morphe Y4, I'm going to pick up the bronzer on the Marc Jacobs Object of Desire palette. This is my favorite part, bronze all the way! Using the same brush we use on the bronzer, we're going to use this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush in the shade Royal. Time to pop on some lashes. I'm using Ardell Demi Wispies in black. For mascara, we're going to use Dare Real from Benefit Cosmetics. To line the lower lash, we're going to use the Stila Smudge Stick Eyeliner in the shade Lionfish. Of course, don't forget the highlight. This one is from Becca Cosmetics in the shade Opal. I felt like a nude lip will be perfect for this look, so I chose Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Co Co. Thank you 
you guys for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I want to know what you guys want to see next. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. And there are three things that I want to film. One of them is a five minute makeup look. One is product empties and I have a DIY for my brother's baby shower. So let me know what you guys want to see first. Just leave a comment below and see you again on my next one. Bye! If you liked it, please don't forget the what well, the black. Okay, one more time, I can do. It.